Well, we get our weekly update on the barn project. Uh, we had some other stuff going on this week. Uh, we've been working on it the past two days. For starters, this is, we just set this. This will be our, our feed line where we're gonna put everything. So our panels we're building will go here. We're gonna pour a little slab for the feet to sit on. And I think we might even pour a slab on that side for the calves to stand on. Still don't have that post set. Um, got our alleyway coming up. There's the gate for the between the two pins. We have the walls put up. So we're gonna uh, put the roof on Monday, I believe. Today is Saturday. So you know, looks like a looks like a roof. We came up like 12 inches. That's we're gonna pour that concrete and got the back side in. We got kind of bored the other day. We were gonna wait for till we had some more help, but. We put up so much of this stuff, it doesn't take very long, and it's easy to put up, uh, especially if you have decent tools. A couple of DeWalt impacts, make short work of it. We have our cross braces in, um, help stabilize it. It's gonna catch a lot of wind. You can see on these, we actually just cut a hole through our I-beam instead of welding the chain, and made like a chain latch since this one's an in wall used turnbuckle with the hook on it and on the interior ones um, we just used a turnbuckle with a bolt in it and these will these will give a lot of strength to it so you can see that a little bit better uh, yeah, as far as, I mean, as far as it goes, it's, it's coming on a lot right along. Goodness. We'll probably form it in the next two weeks and pour it. I think we've kind of decided to move our water tank to the inside and along in here. That way if it's really bad, they don't have to go outside. We may build a couple hay feeders in between these or somewhere probably not probably just build some hay feeders and put in the center um looks like we're gonna have to abandon the sauna tubes uh unless they dry up a little bit better we've gotten so much rain on them they've they've starting to come apart we've had oh probably five inches of rain on them so they are, they're showing out, which we've, I mean, we've just been getting rain and getting rain and getting rain. It's been pretty amazing, but you can see it. That's the issue right there is that'll, you get too much pressure on them, they'll blow out. And we didn't think we were going to get really any rain on by the time we put the roof on, but thankfully it surprised us. Um. I'll kind of show you that real quick. These. What we did is we knew we were going to come so far off the ground. And so, since none of this has been uh, leveled or anything, we actually just put us a 2x4 up and got us a level. And that way we could drop our sheets down. And they'd be exactly where we wanted them to. And yeah, so now we'll come back in and put a wall in here. Put a couple pipes on this end for it to drain. But yeah, that's that's where the barn is. We're coming right along. We just need to uh, get a roof on it. And once the roof's on it, form the little stem walls and then start pouring concrete 
the reason why we went ahead and set this is when we order our concrete we'll we'll do everything at the same time we'll do the barn then we'll do this and should probably do a couple of our where we're gonna put our water tanks so that's that's where this is at as of now um, we got our little forms down here usually we don't use these but and we just run string lines but for this where we're building these panels we know we're gonna have we're putting an upright every 10 feet so that way our posts are set exactly on tins and we don't lose any feeding space because they, they should lap here but yeah um if you have any questions ask me as far as our sauna tubes go we'll probably just cut them off there if they get any worse and we'll just form up with plywood it'll be just fine uh, it would have been nice if we had gotten them poured but i'll take the rain any day we're not we don't turn rain down here um <laughs> as you can see our posts are a little tall we did that that was our minimum height that they, that they had to be so um just depending on by the time we blade this out and pour our slab we wanted it to be we didn't want to come up short on anything so we'll come back in and cut those off so they look better and cap them but yeah we should have all the tin on by by monday and probably all the trim on by tuesday and then the tin's done the barn as far as putting tin up on the barn and everything it's it's complete we just have to pour a stem wall and build pins and then the barn's complete we'll come back in and put in uh fans at some point before next summer or misters to keep it cool but this is uh where it's at for now so like i said have any questions just ask thanks for watching